Good morning, everybody. So today is Hawaii Travel Day. We are up. It is about 7.30 now. We're just getting ready to go to the airport. We've been up since about 6 a.m. And today will be, I think, about a 24-hour travel day. We had breakfast and we will probably be leaving for the airport in about an hour. We have two flights today, one longer layover, but we'll take you guys along with us just so you can see how it works. Long story short, it does take a long time to get to Hawaii from the East Coast of the US, but obviously it's very worth it. So here we go. just landed in San Francisco. It is approximately 2.30. We have about a five hour layover here. It's a really nice airport, so we're just gonna hang out. We're not really anywhere near our gate right now. We're gonna walk around, maybe find some food and see what there is to see. Terminal B is very, very empty though. It is very fancy. I have all these fancy lamps, but it's very empty. So that was an incredible experience. The Air France lounge was awesome. Yeah, we got in using our priority pass that we have now. So it was really quiet in there, so we didn't want to film too much, but we got some food, we relaxed for a bit, and now we're gonna go over to our gate. It's been a very good day. Um, we've had good weather, no delays, no nothing. Um, we were very pleasantly surprised to get into the Air France lounge, and now we're gonna go wait for our last leg of the trip that we'll be flying. So we just got to our gate. United made it really easy. We did our Hawaii travel pre-check. So we got our wristbands, so we should be able to bypass the line when we get to Kona. How it works is you sign up on the Hawaii travel site uh, ahead of time. So we signed up about a week ago, made our profiles, and then you have to either have a vaccination or a COVID test no further out than 72 hours from your last flight. So we did our COVID tests on Thursday, Thursday morning and now it's Saturday evening. You just have to do an NAAT or a PCR test from one of the trusted partners. So we uploaded our test results to the Hawaii travel site, got that all cleared and good to go. And then 24 hours ahead of time, you fill out a questionnaire. So when we fill out our questionnaire, Last night, they then sent us a QR code, which we just use now to check in. So it was super easy, you just walk up, you use your QR code and your ID to verify that it's you, and they give you a wristband, and then you're good to go. So we got some snacks, we're at our gate. It's about probably two hours, hour and a half before the flight starts boarding. And we're just gonna hang out here. It's not exactly as nice as the part of the airport that we first came in on. It's still a really nice airport though. Um, some of the best snack options that I've seen in an airport. I'm not even gonna lie. I could have bought the whole store. It's very tempting to spend all of your money, so be aware of that if you're gonna come through the San Francisco airport, especially, um, I believe we're in um, section F. Yes. We started off in section B. There wasn't a lot of restaurants open on that side, but that was the fancier side that we showed you guys earlier, um, and now we are in section F. To get from B to F, you have to leave security and go through a TSA checkpoint again. Yes, we did not know that originally. Yeah. But it is the absolute coolest security checkpoint I've ever coolest. been through. But they have like a conveyor belt system where they like spit out the bins to you and then they go back in by themselves. It's very, very cool. We 
have made it to Hawaii. We have secured our Jeep, which I'm so excited about. Jeep life! And we are heading to our house, which is an hour and a half away, but we're almost done. So we have officially made it to our house. It is 11 p.m. Hawaii time, which means it is 5 a.m. home watch. time. Got to watch to prove it. So it's been a very, very long 23 hours. We hope that you enjoyed going on this very long journey with us. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.